Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all of you lovely embers. I hope you're all having a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Flair Unique, and today we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 5. If you're new to the channel, I want to take a moment to stop and welcome you in. So welcome in, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. If you're one of my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I appreciate your support. Uh, Jamie, in contrast to what Cersei wants, is sending, he's sending Brian to protect Sansa instead of having any harm come to her. And I just, I love the new Jamie. <laughs> of course, there were many other things that happened in the last episode, but it was just a nice breath of fresh air. So we're gonna pick back up from there. Before we get started, I need to stop and take a moment to show some appreciation for my Patreon members who are now listed here on the screen for you to see. Thank you guys all so much for supporting this channel. And a special shout out to my top tier patrons, James Kirkbride, Anna, Sarah Needler, Electro, Ella Lewis, Crashly P, Ellie E, Connie Ritter, Michaela Wright, Amy James, Natalia, Kim Walker, Solene, Victoria, Mandy Gutierrez, Cherries Rock. And though there is one name missing forever in my heart, Bane. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and allowing me to continue doing what I love to do. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of the other content on my channel, feel free to check it out. I have everything there listed in playlists for you to find anything that you're looking for. Also listed there are some of the reactors that I watch here on YouTube if you want to check some of them out. If you're looking for my social medias, those will be listed down in the description so you can feel free to check those out. Let's go ahead and get started on today's reaction. May the Smith grant him strength he might bear this heavy burden. All right, we're already to him becoming king. I'm, I'm hoping he's going to do some good stuff. Long may he reign! Long may he reign! Now, it's kind of subjective because I say that he can be a good king. And being a good king, he may just, you know, listen to his counsel, which could mean bad things for the people that I like in the show. But I mean him being a good king as in not just there to torture people like his uh, brother was. Yeah, you remember the little secret that you and Marjorie have. Don't don't forget that. <laughs> Cersei stepping in between them. Your Grace? I don't feel like Cersei is uh, very happy with Marjorie right now. She knows something's going on. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. The things he did shocked me. Finally, an open door, gateway into some of her emotions. He could be the first man who sits on that throne in 50 years to actually deserve it. He will need help. Wait a second. Is she implying? After all that's happened, it would be a great honor, of course. But I will have to speak to my father about it. Oh, I don't know about that. There was a look on Cersei's face that says she doesn't believe it. I won't even know what to call you. Sister. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Or mother. <laughs> oh my God. That was hard. That was hard. M Marjorie took a stance there. Who told you to take the Navy? I heard you like ships. How many ships? 93, your grace. There's something different. Like the shyness, the, the humility that made her is just gone. There's other news from Yunkai. Without the Unsullied to enforce your rule, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. I have to think of her in different ways, you know. She's a product of everything that happened before her uh, and that happened to her. So it's not unnatural for me to see her changing like this, but I don't want her to become power hungry. You cancelled me against rashness once in Karth. I didn't listen. It all worked out well. Okay, now's your chance. Well, actually, I want her not to really listen to Jorah. <laughs> he, he still wants her to go there. Why should anyone follow me? You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. What do you want to be now? I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. Thank you. Finally. So so does this mean she's going to decide to stay here? I mean, she's doing a good job freeing people. If that's the life that she wants to live, I'm down with that. Pull up your hood. A memorable shade. Is this the path over to... The fortress they built here has never been overcome, not once in a thousand years. So they are traveling to the Vale right now. This looked like Hall at first. 
Welcome back, Lord Baelish. Welcome back. When did he come here before? Maybe referencing a time before. I, I really love the way this place looks. It's been so long since I've seen it. Uncle Peter! Uncle Peter is supposed to marry his mother. You know what? It's happened. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Lady Aaron. My name is Elise. Oh, do take down that hood, child. She knows who you are. <laughs> Come on. It's wonderful to meet you, Aunt Lysa. You mustn't call me that in front of anyone else. Oh, of course I understand. They killed my father too, with poison. I wanted to make little Lannister baby man fly. <laughs> That's her husband now. They made you marry that filthy troll. They made us both. Lord Tyrion didn't want to. I don't believe that for a moment. I shouldn't call him crazy. We learned in psychology not to use that word. But I just can't help myself. <laughs> what took you so long? Arranging for the ascension of King Tommen I. Wait, they've had this long before this was decreed. This... We could wait until... I'm done waiting, Peter. We had a wedding night many years ago. Wait, what the heck is this? You gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine. When you told me to write a letter to Kat telling her it was a Lannister. What? No, 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 don't, don't. It's like he just shut her up to stop her from telling us some information. That, oh, they've been long running together. Tonight it is then. <laughs> Look at how sneaky they've been all along. I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across the narrow sea. Damn, she's trying to get her back broken tonight. Uh, she wasn't kidding. <laughs> no, you don't like them. I didn't like your husband. He used to pat me on the back a lot. It's hard to imagine anyone just walking up to Tywin and patting him. The Tyrells are our only true rivals. It can't be. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. The Crown owes the Iron Bank of Brothers a tremendous amount of money. Oh, snap. They've been going into debt this whole time? There must be someone at the Iron Bank you can speak to, come to some arrangement. Oh, that might be good news. If you think about it, isn't Davos trying to link up with the Iron Bank right now? And they'll have reason to go after the Lannisters. If you owe them money and you don't want to crumble yourself, you pay it back. Well, Lannister always pays its debts, right? But, um, this seems like a pretty big debt that they have not paid. The Ross of Mere. Ill in pain. The Mountain. The Hound. It's as good a thing as any to keep a person going. Better than most. I was thinking she was going to say his name right in front of him, saying that she's still going to get, uh, take him down, too. If you were here right now, what would you do? I'd tell him to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. No. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Oh, she is going to drop his name. Don't do it, Arya. Not, not now. The Hound. Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> Kat was the firstborn daughter after all. And she was starting to get fat. My mother. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be pretty bad. Liza and Baelish. That just seems like the craziest trip. I mean, well, it's already been in place, obviously, since they've been working together for so long, but. I'm, I'm very lucky. He feels responsible for you. Oh, I know he does. I'm so grateful. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? Because he is responsible. Oh, look, it's starting to come out of her now. Here it is. He loves you, Aunt Lysa. He's married Your to you. never loved him. Never. We knew it was coming. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. Can you calm your cheeks down? Just a lot. Uh, you pregnant? What if you let Peter do with your body? Oh, my God. Look at her. She's just... And I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth. And I swear to you that he's never touched me. Not once, not ever. Wow. That was just her trying to get the truth out of her, just to make sure nothing happened. 
Look at how she switches it up. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Robin. Oh, uh, sorry, Liza, you might have gotten things a little twisted up here. I can't. There's too much to unpack. There's too much to unpack there. It's not going to be a pleasant journey for you. Feel free to stop at any point. Never, my lady. I'm your squire. I swore an oath, my lady. Hey, she knows all about oaths. Come on now. Come on. You got... They're going to work it out. This is going to work out. Now, Arya, where'd you run off to? That's no way to fight. It's not fighting. It's water dancing. Who taught you that shite? Syria Pharrell, the first lord to the Sea Lord of Bravos. You dead? Yes. How? Oh. He was killed. Who by? Merin Trant. Dang, she has those names down in her head. She is going to really get them. I see what he taught you. Bad like all the rest of your friends. Oh, she was actually going to sap you. If that didn't make it clear how she still feels about him, I don't know what would. For your paramour. For one of my daughters. You have several, don't you? Eight. That's a whole lot of family. It's got to be very hard to leave all of them behind to go on this trip. A brilliant man feared throughout Westeros. But you could not save your sister. I am a Lannister, but I could not save my son. What good is power if you cannot protect the ones you love? You need to put that clever into work. You need to put that mind into work. But what am I talking about? Cersei has plenty of that. She's, she's known how to be smart and get her way. And it's probably what she's doing right now. I haven't seen my daughter in over a year. She's trying to get him to uh, go against Tyrion. Would you bring her a gift for me? I wasn't there for her name day. I don't know when I'll see her again. That's really it? That's all she came for? No, that's just the beginning of building bridges. Did you ever cook anything for Lord Tyrion? No, my lady. <laughs> you gotta learn some life skills. Help him out here. What are you doing? I'm helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time. Thank you very much. He needs her right now. He really has nowhere to go. Uh, I don't think she understands the gravity of the situation. He kept his clothing and linens clean, carried his messages and returned the replies. Mostly I poured wine. <laughs> I killed a man. King's guard. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Black Border. That really is the only time that he's had to do any fighting and I wouldn't call that a fight. Like, well, she's, she's thinking about something very heavily. Maybe seeing his potential now? Oh, Bron, uh, Bron, uh, John should not have brought him along. You mustn't let anything stop you. You're not here. What? Telling him to take control of something? Great weirwood tree. You've seen it too. We're only here to guide you. What? This isn't the end. Not yet. I would like to believe that it's not the end for him, but you know, this show can throw some curved balls and that dude is out there waiting to try and kill Bran. They're confusing me. <laughs> no guards posted, they don't seem to have a care in the world. And all of this, he still hasn't made mention of John's brother being there. There's a hut on the west side of the keep, we should steer clear of it. Oh, you little dirty. Get some rest. You move at sundown. He has to find out. And that's going to show him exactly why he cannot trust that dude. Stop, what are you doing? Please. Whoa, they're not going to kill her off, are they? You've got pretty hair, don't you? Oh, no, they're planning that. Okay. You left your daddy's castle looking for trouble, didn't you? Oh my god, these people are sick. All of them. All of them left at this camp. I can see things. And then that's very helpful. Things that haven't happened yet. Oh, so you do. Don't tell them that an attack is coming. Have you seen what they're going to do to your sister? No. That's because it's not going to happen, buddy. I saw you die tonight. Oh, 
three. Yes. <laughs> The night's watch. Oh, that would be. Oh, that would. <laughs> you get that news just before you hear a call out that you guys are being attacked. Rescue parties here, lads. Don't kill them off. Oh my god, please don't. Hold on. Hold on. A little crippled lord. You're going for a ride, boy. John! What? Come on, they 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 cannot they cannot do that. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he sees the future though, so things could be okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Taking control. Let's go. Oh yes, oh yes. Hold on, go get John. I'm Brian. Go get John. Oh, or get, get the attacker. He deserved it. He deserved it. Get his knife. Is he bleeding out? Where did he cut him? You know, at the same time, I didn't like that guy who just got killed. He did start Jamie on a completely different path. Without Jamie's hand, he became vulnerable and changed direction. He wants to protect you. I'll take you back to Castle Black. You want to find the Three-Eyed Raven? Oh, come on. Just one reunion, please. <laughs> Long time no see. We were free men. You'll never be free. Don't let him get close. He's got two sh short weapons you can move pretty quick with. Come on, John. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know what's wrong with honor? Oh. oh I almost just. Nope. Hey, there you go. There you go. She had enough of your crap. Okay. Haven't been treated to a nice gory scene for a while there. I thought she was about to just be like, nope, I've been through too much. Just just leave me. Seven else could do that to a man. Where's Rust? Oh, he made a break for it. The same one who actually killed off uh Jor. You had your fun with Summer. Not anymore. All that teasing that he did right outside, <laughs> right outside of that little pin. If he wouldn't have done that, maybe he had a little chance there. Show it some compassion, show it a little bit of love. Nah, I'm just kidding. There's no way. What should we do with this law? Burn it. Burn it all down. It's not safe for you here on your own. Oh, not the people. Yeah, keep the people alive. Crusta beat us. And worse. Your brother Crows beat us and worse. We'll find our own way. Burn it to the ground. Hey! <laughs> okay, so they're not gonna go with them. But they don't want to stay here either. This would be nothing but bad memories as it is, so... I can see why. Can't blame them for not trusting going back to Castle Black because the people who just came, well, you know, people who came from there originally with the Night's Watch ended up doing the same thing that Craster did to them. So why would they trust them? All right. It didn't turn out bad. It didn't turn out badly at all. So we're going to just hope that we can continue on this nice path for at least a little while longer. You know, things are going, they're going okay. I don't want to say right because then I'm going to jinx it. We've got Bran back on his mission, though I wish that he would have connected with John right there. But you know what? It's okay. For an, it's a deal for another day. John took out the, everybody at Craster's Keep. So, I mean, those who, you know, he needed to. 
we'll take what small victories we can get. That's like two episodes in a row where things are just, they're all right. So before I pick back up with season four, episode six, and then moving on, I have two videos that I need to get out in between, which is The Martian and Fantastic Beasts part two. And then we'll be coming back around to this and then sprinkling some Marvel in between. It's gonna be interesting to see how this season is going to close out. I, n I couldn't even begin to take a guess at where it's gonna go. That's a story for another day, right? If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and reactions are your type of thing and you wanna see more of that content and whatever else that I happen to be doing here, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, stay safe, be bright, give someone a reason to smile today. I'll see you guys, bye for now.